Um, have you heard of Ali Sam Pali by any chance? Dude, you gotta check this out. <laughs> Hello, I'm Juan Aranda with AudioMidi.com, and I'm here to talk to you about I Sam Pali by Versin and AudioMidi.com. Uh, specifically, I'm here to talk about the sequencer. So I'm going to teach you how to use it really quickly. So basically what we're going to do is on the upper left hand corner we have four choices. We have mono 1, mono 2, poly, and drums. Basically our two monophonic synthesizers, our polyphonic synthesizer, and our drum machine. Let's program a quick drum. So we're already right here in our sequencer. Our drums are highlighted. Are highlighted. And I'm going to hit this pencil, which is our icon to draw. Uh, let me see here. So I'm going to start off. BD is bass drum, SN snare drum, uh, low tom, high tom, closed hat, open hat, uh, crash cymbal, and ST. I'm not quite sure I'm going to listen to that right now, and I'll give you a heads up. So I'm going to press, uh, do a quick four on the floor. Awesome. I'm going to check my loop length. So right here we have uh, this yellow line indicates our loop length. So let's see. I'm going to begin it at the beginning of the first measure, and I'm going to end it right here at the end. You know, and I'm going to press play. Cool. Uh, it's a little slow, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise it up a little. Mm, too fast. So I'm just keep it, I want to keep it around the 120. Cool. 126. Uh, not bad for dance music. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to drop down our snare. Okay, cool. So that's going. Um, of course, what's dance, without, what's dance music without open hats? So we're going to go ahead. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go into our live setting for the drums. Right here I have my X, Y controls already set up. I'm affecting pitch on X, Y, patch evens, and pitch. So, so this feature is like the X, Y pad control is a feature very reminiscent of uh, the Akai sliders. I don't know if you ever used uh, NPCs, but it's very, very familiar where you kind of get to change the pitch and stuff. You know, you could send effects to that. Uh, let's say I don't like the sound of my drums, so I could always go right here to my presets, keep the same pattern, but just move the drums. So let's press play again. I change it to a Roland 808. Uh, that's fun. <laughs> okay, so we have that set up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to mono, and <laughs> we're going to kind of check, we're going to look for a suitable patch. Uh, that's kind of weird. Let's keep looking. I know there's a really fun one that Mr. Sigmin, uh, he's actually a writer for Keyboard Mag. He wrote a few programs for this. So I know he did this Cars, uh, get this Gary Newman Cars thing called the Automobiles. Really fun. Um, we also have a few presets actually by Ernest Devaney. He's an up-and-coming sound designer. You should keep your eye out for him. And we're going to go to the sequence here. We're going to hear that sound. So there we have that set up. Unfortunately, it's a monophonic synthesizer, so you can't really like program polyphonic parts. Uh, if you're not satisfied with a sequence, what you could do actually is uh, you could hit the, you could unhighlight the draw icon kind of move your finger around and cut that crap out. Bam. So you could, you're free to start all over again, you know? And in the meantime, you could actually go back to the drums, look at the sequence. Uh, if you don't like that, you could go ahead. Oh, sorry. I forgot to unclick that. You can go ahead and bam. Let's get that out of there. Sweet. We also have the option of uh, changing zoom, pitch, and all that. I mean, of changing, uh, you could zoom in and stuff if you want. This is what our sequence looks like right here, all the way at the end. So let's begin it right here. And let's end it right there. Sweet. Let's press play. Once again, this is Juan Ronda with uh, AudioMidi.com, and I hope you enjoyed my explanation of Ice and Poly by Versin and AudioMidi.com.